Our ultimate sandbag power clean is an amazing drill, but it takes a lot to actually get it right in both understanding proper lifting technique and progressions, which we're going to break down for you right now. So a deadlift is going to be our foundation and the ultimate sandbag gives us a great benefit because I can go do a neutral grip with the handles, pull them apart, activate my lats and stabilizing my core, which I can't do in most other tools. So when I come down, I hinge down, I want to grab the ground with my feet, have my hip, my feet about hip width apart, pull apart the handles and pull the bag into my body, push to the ground and get really tall. Slide down as I keep pulling the handles apart. So a great thing about our handles too is if I lose the handles, then I round. So I know if I keep the handles in place, I'm keeping a proper deadlift and hip hinge the entire time. Now what you don't want to do is allow the handles to roll forward on you, which will put more stress on your low back. You want to pull the handles into you. So then I want to move into a front load good morning because I'm going to actually do the hip hinge too, but this way I get a little bit more of my work in my core, but still load up those hamstrings quite a bit. At this point, I can work on not only hinging, but driving up explosively, learning how to create power from the ground up while keeping my plank. This will also help me learn progressively how I can build deceleration into the movement too, because the power clean requires rapid deceleration. The high pull is going to be our next progression because we're going to learn how to create a float with the ultimate sandbag through the power we create from the ground up. We're not pulling with the arms, we're pulling with the hips, but we're also learning how to quickly decelerate as well. A lot of times people make the mistake, they think it's an upright row. It's not an upright row. I'm creating so much force from the ground that there's a float of the bag. Now a lot of people too think that once they hit that top point, they're done. We're not done until we come all the way back down. So a lot of times people do this. That creates a lot of jarring on the neck, back, elbows, and shoulders. So I don't want to do that. I need to learn how to cast the weight quickly with my hip. Another key is I always want to make sure my elbows are going vertically and coming up and out, not going forward and back. So watch my arms. And then I unwind, cast with my hips. Versus when people get in trouble, they go ahead and allow the elbows to come out or they have the elbows get stuck into their ribs and that causes for not a very good power clean. So try using these strategies, build up both strength, proficiency and power in all these movements and you'll have way more success and benefits from our power clean.